there, party people. <laughs> uh, this is our attempt at plumbing. We're running a line from the house, an outside tap, to the tiny house, um, which has basically RV fittings. Um, and we have dug, or Ron dug a large trench for us so that it hopefully will be protected from the ground freezing so I won't have water issues. And then our plan is to build a nice um, insulated box around both ends because that's where it's more likely to freeze. And so we're going to attempt to do that today. Um, and I'll show you what's happening with the uh, other trench uh, for electrical and internet. Um, we've got uh, the internet uh, fiber cable is already uh, in the ground and uh, we're waiting for electrical but our original electrician uh, Buckhorn Electric decided to uh, uh, not um, fulfill the uh, uh, their agreement uh, to actually help us out so we're looking to work with another electrician. It's uh, Roland from, from East Marsh Acres, and uh, what we've done here is uh, we've actually undercut uh, to the pad so that we could put enough room in here to put uh, this box in. And uh, inside the box, we have the big O coming to the top. To the top of the box. The box is fully insulated all the way down. The big O is just essentially a container. And what we've done inside there, that here is the water hose that will be attached to the tap, which is uh, the bib right there. And then we wrap that with a uh, heat trace uh, at the top here, which will attach to the outside receptacle over there. And uh, then it's totally wrapped in uh, uh, insulation as well. So um, we're hopeful that uh, nothing will freeze and uh, we'll make, be able to maintain the, uh, the water going to the tiny home, which is at the far end over there. And we'll have to do similar kind of work over there, but it'll be a little bit more forgiving because here we actually have to work with the uh, the pad, which is a heated pad, and you can see the depth of the styrofoam underneath it, and then all of the, there's four feet of stone, crushed stone, and then there's uh, gravel on top of that yet. And so Rachel and I had to dig all of that out. There's the work person. Uh, dig it all out, and uh, we're having to replace it as much as possible. We had a little bit of collapse here in the corner, so that uh, I'm going to have to replace that a little bit uh, so that we don't have any further slippage. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I think we're uh, in pretty good position. So this piece of styrofoam goes in front and then we'll put another piece of uh, plywood in front of this and then we'll screw that closed. So then it's, ac it's accessible if we ever need to get into it again. We can screw off that piece of plywood and get to it to ch make any changes. Yeah, or we can screw it up, whichever way comes first, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, anyway, so uh, that, that's the, uh, the plan here, and we've got some physical labor that's remaining to uh, put the stone and gravel and other stuff back so this becomes secure. We'll spray foam it uh, once we're finished as well so it won't have any gaps uh, around the backside uh, or anything else along those lines. Um, the, the entire hose will be pulling uh, to the um, to the tiny home uh, to get it to exactly the proper distance.
which will be a little bit tricky, but uh, I think we can do it. So we're really trying to get this done today because last night <laughs> Roland was having bad dreams about the house collapsing on our foundation because there was a this gap. So well, we're really trying. Yeah, here, yeah. So maybe that's what you heard, but <laughs> anyway. So we're trying to. Um, Get this all closed in, and uh, before we get any more rain or anything well, like that. Well, it's supposed to freeze tonight as well. Yeah, it's supposed to freeze tonight, so, yeah. And then we've got a few days left, it. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe what I should do is uh, pack some of this in again, Rich. So let me pack it into this. So you don't want me throwing rock at you while you're doing that? Well, I love to rock, but uh, not the real rocks. Ugh. Always a comedian. It's like those people in Italy uh, building a stone wall. That's what we said when we were digging it out the other day. It was like, this is our own Italian project. Yeah. I just can't imagine. Like, the work that they're doing is mind-boggling. Like, this was too much. <laughs> no, just enough. Yeah. We should make, you're still filming? Yeah. We should make a reference to... Uh, so the, the log Voyagers. that we're talking about is Raising Voyagers. Open so they, they the bought country. a... Um, a house in in the mountains of Italy, northern Italy, and uh, they've had to do a lot of excavation of rock. So this is nothing compared to what they're doing. So if you want to see some interesting projects, you can. We'll put a link in our description too. Okay, we got to get more here. So that I can yeah, I'm gonna turn. Okay, so we've built a box. <laughs> it just took forever. So it's closed in for now. We're still planning on, um, well, we have to still attach the hose to the water source, um, but we're gonna do the other end first and then uh, make sure that it's all running. Um, we don't wanna put a water in until, until the house is heated and it's going, because otherwise it's gonna freeze. Um, then we're planning on putting um, some more spray foam to fill in the gaps back here and then we we're also just contemplating maybe getting some piece of rubber lining to kind of cover the gaps and then we actually have some extra siding or um, yeah siding metal siding from the house and um, that we'll probably cover with too just for an extra layer of weather protection so it'll last for a long long time uh, yeah so that's what we got done today and then we'll do the other end um, in a few days. So Rachel's standing on dirt that we shoveled back into place. There's not much left of the pile that we had taken out of there in the first place. Um, and then uh, when Ron comes to fill in the rest of the trench. Uh, You're standing on your trench. sunglasses. When Ron comes to fill in the rest, rest of the trench, we'll get him to uh, pack it down as well so that we don't have to do more by hand. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this weekend's work, anyways, uh, to be continued later in the week. And you'll get a shot of Albie going after his favorite toy, his frisbee. You can just see his tail. I don't know if you can see it. Did you get it, Alps? Did you get it? Here he comes. Here he comes. I mean, we can also spray from that gap and like chip it out. Yeah. You gonna say goodbye, Alpy? You gonna say goodbye? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>